Here we are. Can I close up for now? Maybe later, Stephen. Hello, love. Mum. When did you arrive? Last night. Gina? Hello, Stephen. Remember me? Auntie Gina. Let's have a cuddle. Don't bite. We're not little boys, anyway. It's been a good few years since you saw Ian, isn't it? Yeah. Someone else for you to meet. Oh, she's beautiful. Come on, let's get inside, out of the cold. I'll bring the bag, shall I? Been up in Chester long? Two years. Bev says you're running a shop or something? I'm a retail manager. I look after a chain of shops. Oh, right. Gina always was the brainy one, weren't you? No idea where she gets it from, not me, that's for sure. Have another sandwich, Ian. No, uh, I'm all right, thank you. Suppose you're used to all that fancy stuff being in the catering business. Chip shop, isn't it? Along with a number of other thriving businesses, actually. Gina's a good cook, aren't you? I think you're confusing me with Cindy. I can't boil an egg. Well, Cindy wasn't exactly a master chef. In my book, you should leave the cooking to the men. Yeah, well, they've got to be good for something, I suppose. I'm going to take her up. These career girls. Don't know how lucky they are. Sorry, she can be a bit harsh sometimes. Her and Cindy don't just look alike, do they? Well, she's upset. I didn't think they were that close. Doesn't mean she doesn't care. Seems like only yesterday your little face was poking through them bars. You were murdered trying to get you off to sleep. Cindy was the opposite. Good as gold. Surprise, surprise. She sure won't. She's fine. Just like Cindy. So peaceful. You wouldn't have known. If I could have just been half an hour earlier, I could have been there for her. That's what gets to me. She was all on her own. I held her hand. It was so cold. I was just too late. Oh, don't upset yourself, Mum. We've got to think about this little one now. Oh. You don't have to worry about her anymore. I've made up my mind, Bev. She, she can come back to Warfield with me and the kids. No, you can't. She's staying here with us. I was going to put in for a transfer so I could come back here and help. I had no idea, love. You two have discussed this already behind my back, haven't you? I, I thought you knew. Why is he going on about making up his mind? He didn't even want the baby in the first place, did he? How could you? I'm sorry, but you coming back here, it, it'd never work. Anyway, she'd be better off with Ian. Uh, him? After everything he's done? If it wasn't for you, my sister would still be here today. Well, I think a small service would be better anyway. In your opinion? I don't think we've got much choice, have we? My sister was 31 years old, not 80. She'd have wanted something lively and uplifting. Well, pass me the phone book and I'll book a disco, shall I? You think it's funny, do you? Am I laughing? She was my sister. I knew her better than you. Oh, and that qualifies you to bring up her kid, does it? That's got nothing to do with it. She belongs with us, not you. You haven't got a clue about raising kids. I mean, let's face it, I've got something an advantage on you on that front. Shut up. Just shut up. I'm sick of all this. How could you do this? You gave her away without even telling me. It's not your decision to make. It was Bev's, and she's made what she thinks is the right decision. You've got no rights. You're not the baby's father. No matter what you and Mum have cooked up between you. Sorry about before, Mum. I just can't believe you're letting him do this. It was him she had down us next of kin, Gina, not me. It's hardly surprising considering what she thought of me most of the time. Well, it's nothing to what she thought of him. And anyway, what difference does it make what's on some bit of paper? I've made up my mind, Gina. That's your mum when she was about your age. Pretty, wasn't she? Come on, flip over. Who's that? That's you when you were a baby. I'll see you Thanks. I don't eat meat. I know. That's why I made you a vegetable lasagna. Ian's arranged all the food for tomorrow as well. That's generous of him. You're not the only one who's upset, Gina. We're all grieving. Are we? What about Stephen? How do you think he feels? Why are you blaming me? For once in your life, grow up and stop acting like a spoiled brat. I've got a right to say what I think. I don't want him here. 
What kind of man has the mother of his kids locked up? The sort of man whose wife tries to have him shot. Was that my fault? You'd never have proved it was her. And anyway, I bet you had people queuing up to do it. Gee, this isn't about me. You're just bitter, aren't you? <laughs> me? I mean, how much contact did you have with Cindy in the last ten years? A phone call once, maybe twice a year? Oh, that shows how close you were. I love Cindy, which is more than you ever did. And there you are, paying your last respects. It's all an act, Ian, isn't it? I bet you're pleased she's dead, cos now you've got what you really wanted, including the kids. Beth? She's gone out. I haven't seen this picture before. Where was it taken? What? Oh, it's outside of old house in London. Look on your face. Yeah, well, that's because Cindy was pinching me when it was taken. See? Looks like she's got her arm around my back. Do you love winding people up? Yeah, you don't need to tell me. <sighs> she used to go running to Dad. Gina's done this, Gina's done that. He always took her side. Was she the favourite? No. I don't think either of us were that privileged. She was just better at getting attention. She knew all the tricks, especially with men. Yeah, that sounds like Cindy. She idolised our dad. He couldn't have cared less. She never told me that. Yeah. That was Cindy. We used to share a room, you know, when we were little. Sometimes I'd wake up and... and I'd look at her and I'd think... I don't have a clue what's going on inside your head. Well, she must have opened up to you sometimes. Never. Well, that was the thing. You know, she was so good-looking, so confident. She could have any bloke she wanted. But underneath, she was no different to anyone else. She just wanted to be loved. <laughs> 